Hey, my YouTube friends, me and Aaron are back, and Lassie. Do you guys like Spike or Lassie? I like calling her Spike. I really wanted to call her Speck, like Pee Wee Herman's dog. Okay, well, what we got here is something from, something for the Pittsburgh train. It's a little loose in this box. I hope it's okay. Listen, it's supposed to pack things tight so it don't move. Aaron, I hope it's okay. Looks like they took two boxes. <laughs> little sniffer. She likes sniffing there. See, it's just put in there with no packing. All we had to do was put a little newspaper around there. So we got we got a oh, it's upside down in the box. MPC era. So what we got for the Pittsburgh train? This is cool. Fully sprung truck. MPC era. Fully sprung truck. High quality, super strong. Let's see. Okay. Alrighty then. Let's get it out of the box and hope everything made it okay. Nice. Let me put on my glasses and give it an inspection. Looks good, Aaron. So what we got for the Pittsburgh train is the Clark candy bar box car. Back when I was a kid in the late 60s, early 70s, when you went trick-or-treating, your bag was full of Clark bars. These were made in Pittsburgh. I'm not so sure if they're still made in Pittsburgh. I heard you can still get them. I haven't seen one in a long time. But I think they still make them. Just outside of the city, I think. But I remember there was a giant sign downtown. Clark Candy. What's it say here? Gives you a lift. Lionel. So, we have to put that on the, with the Pittsburgh train. Give the Pittsburgh train a run. Nice detail on the bottom of the car. And the trucks are fully sprung. That's pretty neat. I don't know if you can see them little springs in there. Look at that, they work. That's cool. Shock absorbers, so the Clark bars don't get broken up. All right, Aaron, give me fist bump. Boom, thumbs up. Nice. Okay, we'll see you down in the train room. Lionel Standard O. I guess that means it's like um, scale and not semi-scale. Look at the box. Good old MPC era. And I wanted to show you the detail on the bottom here. Nice details. Clark Bar's been a Pittsburgh tradition since 1917. They were made in Pittsburgh for a long time. And you can still get one. Made in uh, by Boyer Candies. Yum. Okay, let's put together the Pittsburgh train. Starting with the big Clark Bar. 
box car. It is big. So I would say it's scale. It's even bigger compared to this Menards. It's even a lot bigger than that. Menards is a little bit bigger than semi scale, I think. All right, let's start the Pittsburgh train, starting with Clark candy bars. Got to have milk to make candy bars, probably. <laughs> this is B&O, Pittsburgh, PA. I, I never investigated this, but Harmony's a little time north of Pittsburgh. I'm guessing there was a farm there back in the day, and they sent their milk down to Pittsburgh. That's my guess. I, I'm going to have to look that up. Here's another scale-looking car. So after they make the candy, have an Iron City beer, which I never really was a fan of. I like Icy Light. I never really liked the regular iron, but a lot of Pittsburghers do. Piggyback it. We'll piggyback some Iron City beer. Okay, we'll end this train with the Pittsburgh Steelers car. I'm not a giant football fan, but I like it when the Steelers win the Super Bowl. Here, this car is about February 5th, 2006. Pittsburgh Steelers, 21. Seattle Seahawks, 10. Most valuable player, Heinz Ward. Played in Detroit, Michigan. Steelers won that one. Let's hook this train up using the chassis system. Chassis special, steam special. I hit that a little hard. Sorry, Clark, new Clark bar. <laughs> but she worked. Bringing her around, chassis special, pulling the Pittsburgh train. Gotta love that MPC era sign of steam and whistle. <laughs> I sure do appreciate everybody watching. I hope you enjoyed my Pittsburgh train. just noticed something about the Pittsburgh train every every one of my Pittsburgh cars have sprung trucks here's MTH these two are Lionel old Lionel newer Lionel this is MTH sprung truck And so is the Steeler car. Very cool. Well, thanks for watching. See you next time on the Coverdale Mine.